So, okay, so we have a audio clip down here, and uh, it was asked earlier, how do I fade audio in and out really easily? It is super simple in Final Cut. It's one of my favorite features that they added. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fade this clip in. So I could go in there, and I could create keyframes, like we had to do in FCP7, right, where you you hit the G shortcut for the pin tool, you selected the first keyframe, you selected the second one, and then you drag the keyframe up and down, right? FCP7 has a really cool feature where if I find that horizontal white bar that runs across for the audio, correct? If I hover my mouse over it, I get the up and down arrows, meaning I can you know, adjust the audio up and down for the whole clip. But if I move my clip to the beginning of the track or the clip, I get arrows that move left and right. So if I click and I drag to the right, I get this cool little fader. And all this does is it takes the volume from zero to 100%, uh, whatever you have your whole clip at. And this can be however long you want. So for instance, it's 12 seconds here, it's 11, 10, five seconds, three seconds. You can make it however long you want. So then if I play it, the audio fades in. Super quick. I have my clip at the end. I want to fade it out. All I do is I find that horizontal bar. I now see that green kind of little dot at the end. I can click it and drag it to the left. And now my clip will fade out. Oh, yeah, 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 good point. Uh, so now that I have my out point, I've noticed that the actual music actually kind of cuts off before the end of my clip does. I can change the trim like we did with our video clips. If I move that out point, what's really cool is that fade stays, right? So if I didn't want that whole clip, I could come way over here, right? Let me make my fade shorter here, three seconds. 